Hi, boys and girls. I am back. We just read a passage about this community helper. Now we're going to answer these questions. I'm going to give you three choices and you have to pick the right answer. Are you ready? Circle the correct answer for each question. There we go. Number one, where did this community helper learn to do her job? Where did she learn to do her job? Talking to people? Watching TV shows? Or a special school? Circle what you think is the right answer. I will read it one more time. Where did this community helper learn to do her job? Talking to people? Watching TV shows? Or a special school. There you go. Let's go to number two. Number two. How did this community helper feel about the people she helps? How does this community helper how does That word is missing there. How does this community helper feel about the people she helps? She cares about them? She feels angry? She feels sad? Let's read one more time. How does this community helper feel about the people she helps? She cares about them. She feels hangry. Or number three, she feels sad. Circle the correct answer. Now let's go to number three. What does this community helper do at their job? Puts out fires? Keeps people safe? Cooks or bakes? Or number three, helps children learn. Let's read it one more time. What does this community helper do at their job? Puts out fires? Keeps people safe? Cooks or bakes? Helps children learn. Circle your answer. Now let's go to number four. What is the name of this community helper? Look at the picture. Read it one more time. What is the name of this community helper? If you don't know how to spell it, go back to the reading passage and find the word, then write it on the line. Bye for now. Good luck with your answers. I am looking forward to getting your work back and seeing the great work that you did by listening to Miss Pilgrim read to you. Can you give me a high five? Pshh. I always go off my page with a high five. Let's try one more time. Give me a high five. Pshh. Bye for now.